Hello everybody, this is JD. But today, my video is more directed to select individuals. Like, for example, Glenn Beck. And other people who have talk shows. Well, I'm here in Norfolk, Virginia. We have all three major networks here. Stations, and very easily, if anybody wishes to have me on a talk show, they can do so. Because... We could set it up so that from here and there. But Glenn Beck, I noticed that uh, you have people like Sarah Palin and all these other people. But when it comes to somebody who's real, somebody who's honest and straightforward, you kind of shy away from them. You stay away. Are you afraid of the truth? Are you afraid of the things I might say? speaking the truth actuality if you listen to my videos you may find out we're not that far apart but the truth of the matter is why don't you ever have me on your show bring your board of people on let them question me don't even let me know nothing's going to be off the table nothing ask me what you want straightforward right there don't let me know in advance and I'm not going to let you know my answers are going to be in advance That'd be fair ground, wouldn't it? Same time I can ask you questions. Again, I won't tell you it's in advance. And, of course, you won't tell me your answers in advance. By the way, say hello, everybody. This is Spirit. Remember Spirit? He's our mascot. Not a donkey or an elephant. That's ours. Just plain little eagle... Bald eagle that believes in the American dream. Sorry, guys. If you don't think that's original enough, that's what we're all about. You know, this little book right here? Constitution of the United States and Declaration of Independence? Yep. That's what it's all about. Glenn Beck, I'm going to tell you a few things. One, we're not going to pass on this debt to generations down the road. When I become president, there's no such thing as passing on. We're going to fix this mess we made. Also, when I become president, I don't want to hear about what Obama did, or Bush did, or Cheney did, or etc., etc. It doesn't matter. What matters is we have a job to do. Now, some people have emailed and said, oh, no, they say it's impossible. It's impossible to fix a debt. Is it? How do you know till you try? That's what we're going to do. We're going to not be a total debt free, but we're not going to pass this monstrosity that this Congress has created. Glenn Beck, are you afraid to ask me about medical for all? That will kill. If it got out publicly, that would kill this bill that is in Congress completely. Because, you see, I'm a person who believes in utilizing what you have to its fullest potential instead of reinventing the wheel over and over and over again. I'm also a person who believes to lead by example, not telling people what to do. You do things right, insurance companies will be regulated. Why? Because they're going to want to regulate themselves to compete. But, you see, other people think it's better to tell people what to do. Tell people how to do it. I believe to get people to do things, you've got to make them want to. And when they want to, they tend to do it much better. Do I have a way for that? Yes, there is a way to get medical for all and regulate the insurance at the same time. Without putting a single thumb on top of our economy ordering it to do things which we shouldn't be doing job that could be easily we've got to make manufacturing want to come back into this country how can you do that there's a way a very simple way but you see then you're going to step on some toes of other people but that's okay See, I, I'm not afraid of stepping on toes I've been in a leadership position several times. I've stepped on toes of much senior people than me. Sure, in the end, I come out ahead, but things happen too. 
But in the end, the job is done right. And the world is better for it. That's the same thing, Glenn Beck. I will not allow our government to pass this debt on to the next further generations. I will enforce the Constitution of the United States. I will fix a lot of problems because the answer is in the Constitution on most of them, if not all of them. But Glenn Beck, you don't have the guts to hear me out. You don't have the guts to talk to me face to face over the air. I'm talking straight. My my end will be totally unpropped. The only thing I'll be carrying with me is this little booklet. It's one little booklet. Declaration of Independence, the Constitution of the United States. That's all. But that's all I need. But I don't think you have the guts to really go face to face with me. Because you see, if you do, and I become public, I'll become the worst nightmare for both the Republican and Democratic Party. Because I don't believe in parties either. I believe in the American people and the individuals. I believe in our Constitution. And I know the answers to every one of our problems is in this little book. The Constitution and Declaration of Independence. Am I a politician? No. I'll never be called a politician. If you want to call me a statesman later on, that's fine. But don't you ever call me a politician. That's about as dirty a word as calling me sir. Both of them are extremely dirty. As far as I'm concerned. So. Can I fix the country? Yes. Can I do it alone? No. Any man who tells you he can be president and handle all the problems alone. That's a fool. Run from that guy as fast as you can. Am I smart enough to do the job? I'll put it this way. I'm smart enough to know I don't know everything and that I wish to learn something every day. I'm smart enough to know I don't have all the answers and there's others who do and together we can come up with the right answer. I'm smart enough to be able to lead but at the same time follow. I'm smart enough to be the president but still also understand that the people in this country are the real boss. I'm smart enough to know that the president is the executive branch of the government and that Congress is the legislative branch. And I'm smart enough to know exactly what's in the First Amendment and what it all deals with and why it's all there. But that ain't the only amendment to the Constitution, and especially the Bill of Rights. I'm smart enough to stand up and debate anything you want with you, but yet I'll listen to what you have to say. We may agree on a lot and we may disagree on others. I'm smart enough to listen to how we disagree because there may be something there that I need to know. May there be something there. So, am I smart enough? Well, I'm not the smartest man in the world. But I'm smart enough to know that, too. So, Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, any one of you talk show hosts out there, hey, my phone number is 757-853-5427. My email address, kmjdc at aol.com. And I live here in Norfolk, Virginia. Sometimes you, I mean, Rush, you've been down here several times. You talk about the uh, Freemason restaurant. Freemason Abbey restaurant. So you've been here. I've eaten this a couple of times too. It's pretty. It's nice. It's something you don't want to do every day because it loses its specialty. So, you can come down to Norfolk. We could discuss things there. And use the radio stations and TV stations. Or... You can help me get to New York or Atlanta and discuss things with you. Or I can actually go to the TV stations here and we set everything up, radio stations, and discuss from there. The choice is yours. But do you have, are you smart enough, both of you, 
to have me there? That's the question. This is JD, and I will be elected president in 2013. 2012 election, I will, January 21st, be sworn in. It's just, are you sworn enough to know it now, or do you have to follow the crowd? Are you leaders, or are you crowd followers? You guys think about that. Have a nice day. This is JD.